As far as the approach, when you start looking at the winter time, in my opinion, we use our electronics throughout the course of the year. But the winter time to me is probably the time of the year that I feel like your electronics and mapping have got to come into play more so than any other time of the year, other than maybe the post-spawn period when the fish really get out there on those key structure areas. So having the opportunity to, to switch over to Garmin last year, I feel like it's going to make me a better angler as a whole. And the reason I say that is first and foremost is the pan optics that Garmin has to offer. I mean, I know you guys have all heard about the various types of views that you can use with different electronics. You know, there's 360 view that a company's making and some various types of views. But one of the biggest things as an angler that I did growing up in the era I did, I grew up with the old flashers, you know, and, and it's evolved since then. 2D sonar, when it started gaining ground and, and really coming on the, the LCD units, I learned to read 2D sonar really, really well. The side imaging and the, uh, the clear view down view, those things are still a little tough for me. I'm learning, but the 2D sonar is important. And the view that you're looking at on the top of this screen is actually 2D sonar called panoptics looking forward. So basically what I'm able to do now with the new panoptics is I can look out ahead of the boat up to 100, 125 feet and see everything that's out there. The thing that's cool about panoptics is I'm able to point that where I want to look. It's shooting a 13 to 15 degree cone, and I know that wherever I'm panning my trolling motor, what I'm seeing is there. And being able to see fish out in front of me is a, an incredible deal. As tough as it gets in a lot of lakes around the country, as long as the conditions are somewhat right, you can still catch fish on moving baits. It isn't always that you have to slow down and throw a finesse type bait in the winter or dra drag a jig on the bottom you can use baits like this to catch fish. And when I designed the rock crawler a few years ago for Spro, this is a bait that growing up on table rock for years, I threw, you know, wiggle warts and rebels and various types of crankbaits. And the one thing that always frustrated me when you got into the end of November, the middle of December, and then into January and February, I never felt like I could get that bait deep enough to catch those fish in the in the wintertime months of the year. And that was one of the biggest things that uh, when we designed or when I designed the rock crawler that I wanted to try to accomplish. I wasn't trying to knock a wiggle ward off. I was trying to build a better mousetrap. And, and essentially, we, we nailed it. Um, the rock crawler, honest to goodness, I mean, you put this bait on six, eight pound test line, and I know a lot of people don't like to go that low, but this bait will get 14 foot deep on the right cast. <laughs> Getting on to the next bait, a stick bait is another bait that in the wintertime to me is probably even a better choice in my mind than the rock crawler. I mean, to me, a stick bait allows me to fish a bait as slow as you can possibly fish a bait and have that opportunity to catch fish in, in extremely cold conditions. The thing that's cool about a stick bait, I mean, you're going to have that opportunity to catch quality fish. I mean, I don't know how many fish over six, seven, eight pounds I've caught on a stick bait. You can cover a lot of water, but you can cover that water fishing slow and very effectively. And the key to that is making sure that your stick bait is doing the appropriate thing. I'm going to pass this bait around here in just a minute, but uh, this is the McStick 110. I designed this bait probably six, seven years ago now for Spro, and basically I took all of the different stick baits that I had ever thrown throughout my career and, and just fishing, and I meshed them all into this one bait. But one of the biggest things about any bait manufacturer that they cannot do is they cannot put a bait in a package that is going to work effectively for you on every lake that you fish. The water temperature is going to dictate how this bait rises in, in the water column. Warmer the water is, the more weight you might need to add to this bait to get it to suspend properly in the winter. As the water temperature gets colder, things will change and that bait might start sinking. So you have to pay attention day in, day out to your stick bait. The next bait that I rely on big time in the winter time is, is gonna be swim baits. And man, when you talk swim baits, there are so many different variations today, it's, it's pretty scary. Um, winter time though, it's a little different deal. It's maybe a little bit easier 
to, uh, to make those decisions. I'm going to go ahead and send a package of three different baits around. Basically what we've got here is we've got the little 3.4 Cabela's Finesse Swimmer. I've got a 4.4 Cabela's Swimmer and then I've got a Big Bite Suicide Shad. These are going to be probably three of my primary choices when it comes to swim baits in the winter time. Basically you've got to let the size of the bait that is visible or that you see fish spit up somewhat dictate which one of those swim baits you're going to throw. If you're fishing a lake and you're seeing a lot of little bitty thread fin shad, you better be throwing a real finesse type swim bait. If you start seeing those bigger three, four inch shad, that's when you dictate to maybe something like the 4.4 and then if you're seeing some bigger gizzard shad present, you know, that's when this suicide shad can really become a deal in, in the winter time. So that's something to keep in mind. The other thing about swim bait fishing in the winter time, Welcome to Bass University TV, an online video training course where you'll learn champion bass fishing techniques from pro anglers Pete Gluzek, Mike Iaconelli, and their talented special guests. From on the water to in the classroom, you'll learn sound techniques and strong fundamental bass fishing skills. Watch hours of video content on multiple topics at your own pace for a low monthly fee. Cancel at any time. Information is power in the sport of fishing. So learn from the very best. Subscribe to Bass University TV today.